this video, we're gonna talk about the 10 HIIT exercises to lose belly fat fast. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. You should concentrate on two main things if you wanna lose belly fat. To begin, adjust your diet to include more whole foods and less sugar and processed foods. Second, high intensity interval training, HIIT workouts, or a must when it comes to exercise because they have been shown to reduce belly fat. While these workouts are beneficial and burn calories, they are not the most efficient way to spend your time working out if you are short on time and want to achieve quick long-term results. Understanding the benefits of high-intensity interval training will change your relationship with exercise forever. If time is holding you back from reaching your weight loss goals, here are 10 HIIT exercises to help you lose belly fat quickly. Number 10. TRX Pull-Up TRX could be a good place to start if you're looking for a quick way to lose some belly fat. TRX Suspension Training, unlike almost any other training system, challenges your entire body in all planes of motion, resulting in a massive metabolic effect and helping you build lean, toned muscle. Pull-ups with a TRX require a lot of upper body strength. However, if you know the proper technique and have put in a lot of practice time, it can be simple. You will also need a TRX trainer to complete this. Take a TRX grip to complete a TRX pull-up. Put your body upwards using your back and arms, keeping your legs shoulder width apart. Try to get your chest at the same level as the handles, but don't worry if you don't succeed at the first time. All it takes is some practice. After that, maintain your body in that posture for a second before lowering your body and repeating the process. Number 9. Russian Twist The Russian Twist is a quick and easy approach to strengthen your core and hips. The Russian Twist is a popular exercise among athletes thanks to its after effects, which aid in athletes in twisting actions and changing directions swiftly. To perform the Russian Twist, start on the ground with your legs out in front of you. Raise your knees and sit in a V-sit position after that. Maintain a shoulder width distance between your legs. Finally, twist from one side to the other to train the body repeated multiple times. Number 8. Side Jackknife The side jackknife is an exercise that works the oblique muscles, shoulders, and quadriceps. The glutes and hip flexors are also involved. One must lie down on their side with one leg on top of the other to accomplish side jackknife. Now with your elbow flared out, place one hand behind your head. To balance your weight, place one hand on the ground in front of you. Now try to bring your upper leg and elbow together before returning to the starting position. Wrap the produce to implant training. Number 7. Push-ups. The most prevalent exercise is push-ups. Body weight training they are. Not less difficult for beginners. When you train every day though, you become accustomed to it and begin to enjoy it. Push-ups are the ideal exercise for strengthening your upper body. It aids in the development of chest, shoulders, and triceps. Push-ups don't require any special equipment or may be done at home. Push-ups are performed by assuming a cat stance with palms and toes dips contacting the ground. Now lower yourself to the ground and touch your chest. Make sure your back is straight and your legs are straight. You can challenge yourself as you gain experience by putting your toes close together. Number 6. Rope Jumping Thousands of individuals prefer rope jumping, often known as skipping, to running because of its numerous advantages. It appears simple, burns a lot of calories, and is a lot of fun. All you need is a rope to accomplish skipping. Now stand tall with your legs close together and your elbows close to your tummy. Now leap and make the rope go around your body in a circle from head to toe. Jumping forward and backwards can also be used to alter the jump. Number 5. Mountain Climbers It's not easy to climb the mountains. But what if the mountains disintegrate into planes? That's the reasoning behind the Mountain Climbers game, to give the impression of climbing a mountain while on the ground. This workout is well known for its several advantages, including increased cardiac endurance and agility. Mountain Climbers work the entire body once more. Get into a straight arm plank position to perform mountain climbers. Make sure your hands are somewhat larger than your shoulders. Now without elevating your hips, bring the right knee to your chest. Then return it to its original position and add the other knee. 
To continue following it, repeat the steps. Number 4. Jumping Jacks Jumping Jacks, also known as Side Straddle Hop, is a full body workout that can be performed practically any place because no special equipment is required. Jumping Jacks are a type of exercise that involves jumping from one position to another. To begin, stand tall with your feet at least hip width apart. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your gaze is straight ahead. Now leap and spread your feet laterally. Move your hands up and down about your head at the same time. Wrap the procedure by following the same steps. Number 3. Jump Lunge The jump lunge is an advanced form of the standard walking lunge exercise that adds a hop to increase the intensity. Jumping high in the air and moving your forward foot before landing is a polymatic transition. Jump lunge can be used to improve your heart during the calisthenics or simple floor activities. You can do this workout at any time and any location because it requires no equipment. This is not only a great cardiovascular workout, but it also helps develop and increase lower body strength and power, while also challenging dynamic stability and coordination. The glutes, quads, hamstrings, hip flexors, and calves will also be targeted if done correctly. You will also strengthen core and hip muscles, as well as those involved in rotational movements and increase ankle stability. Each push-off phase generates power as you load your body weight onto your foot, ankles, knees, and hips. Then quickly drive upward during the transition to the next lunge. During the landing phase of each action, the jump lunge tests an athlete's coordination, balance, and proprioception. Sprinting, basketball, volleyball, and tennis can all benefit from developing this power and coordination. Because the jump lunge is an advanced pleomatic activity, it should be done after a thorough warm-up and some basic movement preparation such as fast core workout or glute activation program. This exercise involves a slower transition from mild to higher jumps even after a solid warm-up. For the first few transitions, go slowly. Number 2. High Knees High Knees is an HIIT, High Intensity Interval Training Activity that's excellent for burning fat and calories while also increasing power and endurance. Essentially, the technique entails emulating sprinting by running on the spot with your arms moving up and down beside you. At the same moment, you must raise your knees to hip level or slightly higher as the name suggests. High knees are used in a range of workouts and dynamic warm-up routines because of the many physical benefits they provide. Because more than one muscle is engaged at the same time, you will burn more calories and raise your heart rate faster. The high knees exercise works your calves, quads, and hamstrings while engaging several muscle groups including your core, hip flexors, and leg muscles. To execute high knees, begin in a standing position with your feet hip width apart, requiring little space and no equipment. Alternate lifting one knee above hip level towards your chest with lifting the opposite knee. In this workout, you should use your arms to assist you keep your balance and rhythm, just like you would in a sprint or a rapid run. Consider a pole that connects your hand to your opposite knees. Your opposing hand should be rising up at the same time as you raise one knee. Your opposing hand calms down as you lower your knee and place your foot back on the floor. Continue at your desired rate. Continuing each rep with your knee is about hip level, with one side counting as one rep. Remember that you can watch high knee demonstrated at full speed, half speed, and for numerous angles in the free Latics app's tutorial videos. Number 1. Burpees Burpees are a two-part workout that start with a push-up and ends with a leap into the air. Burpees work all of your muscles and are mostly used to strengthen your calves, chest, triceps, shoulder, biceps, glutes, and lats. Burpees are simple to do because they don't require any equipment or weights. Burpees are performed by bending down from partial squat stance. Maintain a straight spine and place your chest on the ground. Push up, do a frog jump with both legs together, and then jump up by raising your hands in the air. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go.